Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today we are giving our shamrock a cool mosaic or stained glass style uh, effect. We've done this before with hearts and Christmas trees. This one, the only trick that we really uh, touch on is how to kind of get this rainbow look even though it's not a rainbow shape. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and stick around to the end. We've got a playlist full of all sorts of St. Patrick's Day tutorials uh, to get you really inspired. So we've been doing loads of St. Patrick's Day rocks. Uh, so today's tutorial is going along the same line. Uh, we're gonna do a fun mosaic style shamrock. So the best way to lay out a shamrock on your rock is to start with a, a cross, but more of an X. It's kind of like a sideways X because it's not longer on one side that you place onto your rock. And then we're gonna create a heart on each the lines well on three of the lines like so now we are going to fill all of this in so don't worry about these lines being on the inside turn your rock make your hearts like a regular heart don't try to make sideways hearts that's just making things harder than they need to be and then the bottom we're going to do a stem now now that we have this on here i can see that's not enough space to fill in, so I'm gonna make them more full, but we've got the shape here, right? So that's what we were looking for. So we're gonna make these fuller. And the difference between a shamrock and a four-leaf clover is obviously this has only got three leaf sections. Four-leaf clover would have four. So we're gonna make these nice and big. All right, much better. Fills up the space a little bit more. We'll even make our stem just a little wider here. All right, so once you've got your design on your rock, we're gonna start sectioning this off. Um, if it's easier for you to put down a layer of white so you don't see all these other lines, you can do that. Uh, I'm not that judgmental with myself so if I mess up anywhere I can fix it just fine so I'm actually going to use these center lines a little bit as part of my sectioning here but you're just going to break it apart into different size pieces um, triangles squares rectangles it's up to you now if you do not have You'll probably want the 1M black for this for the outlines and the lining, but you can definitely fill these shapes in without pens. If you have, say, um, some dotting tools or toothpicks work really well for filling in these shapes if you don't have 1M pens. I'm gonna be using primarily 1M pens today um, because I have them and they're, I've done these mosaic ones in the past with uh, acrylic paints and uh, pointing tools or dotting tools as well, and they've turned out wonderful. So we're just gonna finish this up. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to how I do them. I just kind of try to break the space to make it interesting. You can section off big pieces and then split those. I just like to make sure, except for obviously the outer edge here, I can't do a lot with that, uh, but I don't like to have curves on the inside cuts. Okay, so see like here where my heart was, I'll end up straightening that out. But again, we're gonna be relining this when we're done anyways, so don't be too hard on yourself. Now I'm going to fill this in almost in a rainbow style. Uh, pattern. So in order to pull that off, I am going to visually dot in some of my areas so that I can make sure that I get all the colors all the way to the center that I want to. So I'm going to start on both edges and work towards the middle just by dotting some of the areas so that I can see um, if I need to make adjustments. So i got to dot some reds and then I'm going to dot some purple here in the center the closest to the middle. I just want to make sure that I can without making more areas of each of these colors. Oh, see that one? That could be red or orange depending on what I need to do. 
Um, blue. So I have green and yellow still to go. So I think I've got enough space where I'll be able to pull it off. I don't want it to be a perfect rainbow, but I do want the colors to kind of go towards the center in that style. And then I think I'll do the whole stem just to really sell the shamrock itself as green. All right, so I'm gonna start filling these in. Um, I'll play some of it in speed motion so you can watch and then I might face forward once I'll, I'll fill in a whole section here um, and then I'll phase it forward. <laughs> Okay, as you finish working into the middle, um, one of the rules of thumb, I guess I guess you could say, that I'm trying to accomplish is I don't like when one of the colors reaches past. So see, like right here, this green goes straight to the purple. So I want to add in blue right there, and I'll use a line to separate that later. And same with right here. I'm going to just add a dot of blue. We'll create that into a separate shape when we're going back through with our lining. There wasn't a whole lot of places where that happened. Um, I kind of fixed a few as I was moving along right here. See, I've got yellow going straight to blue. I want to make sure that there's green in there. So I can just even make one of the shapes next to it a little bit larger. And then I have filled in my stem all green here as well. Now the biggest thing here that you also wanna do before you start doing your lining, you wanna make sure your color goes all the way into the points. It's better to cover up your line, your, your edges that exist um, than to leave white gaps because if there's white gaps, even when you fill in your lining, you're gonna see them. Um, so it's better to err on the side of overfilling because we're gonna redo all of these lines again at the end to make them nice and crisp. So fill them all the way to the edges. Uh, make sure you can't see any rock through your design. Then we're gonna let this dry really well. And then we're gonna start going back through with our liner and crisping up all these edges. And this is gonna look amazing. Like really, really fun. I love how this has turned out. So I'm gonna start lining. Take your time with this. Um, this is what really helps pull off the look. It's nice, crisp lines, good points. So take your time. If you need to take breaks, feel free to take breaks. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the lining on just this petal here, or petal, um, this part part section of the leaf first and then um, it, I'll do it faster so you don't have to watch me real time and then I'll kind of pan to the end when it's completely done. How fun is this? You know you can do this. I promise, just take your time. If you need to, watch the video tutorial while you do it. How cool. 
So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that so you don't miss our next fun rock painting tutorial. Um, all the links for the supplies that I use in the video are also listed below. Um, if you need rock painting supplies, I'd love you to use our links. We make a small commission at no extra cost to you, um, and we really appreciate that. So everybody have a wonderful day. We will see you soon with another new tutorial. Bye-bye.